Prince Andrew was last seen in public with other royals on Christmas Day, heading to church. Any festive cheer will have been replaced now by concerns over these allegations. The front pages of today's newspapers will have been a pretty unpalatable read for his family and for the prince. He's in the headlines again because of his once close friendship with this man, the American financier Jeffrey Epstein, a registered sex offender. Andrew once stayed with him in New York. The well-connected billionaire was sentenced in 2008 to 18 months in jail after pleading guilty to an offence of soliciting a minor for prostitution. Fourteen years ago, Prince Andrew was photographed with Virginia Roberts, who was then 17 and who was described as Epstein's personal masseurs. Now, Prince Andrew has been named in court papers in Florida. It's not an action against him. It's alleged that as a minor, a woman was the victim of a sex trafficking scheme run by Epstein. The document reads, One such powerful individual Epstein forced the woman to have sexual relationships with was a member of the British royal family, Prince Andrew. It's alleged to have happened once here at an orgy on Epstein's private island in the Caribbean and also in London and New York. In a statement, Buckingham Palace responded robustly, saying, For the avoidance of doubt, any suggestion of impropriety with underage minors is categorically untrue. Another of those accused, who's also denied the claim, the lawyer Alan Dershowitz, has urged the prince to fight back. You can't allow these allegations to hang above uh, you. Uh, the first question you have to ask yourself when you're charged with a crime like this is, is there any conceivable possibility you did it? And if the answer to that is no, then you have to fight back with every resource and ounce of energy available to you. Prince Andrew lost his job promoting Britain abroad because of his friendship with Jeffrey Epstein. He continues to pay a price for it. Peter Hunt, BBC News.